<laughs> what are you doing? And I'm like, <laughs> living my commuter life. Why am I paying rent just to get a piece of food at the airport? Like, <laughs> Y'all, we be faking. We be scared too. Okay, we be scared too. <laughs> and then when I clear the wall, we make eye contact. And I was like, yeah, you scared the shit out of me. Like, AKA, you're being weird. It's like, I can't do this. Something has to shake. And baby, when it shook, it was so bad. Like, it was fine for a second. But it was like, oh. And there it goes. I shouldn't have touched it. <laughs> Girl, what is this? Pauline. Hey guys! So I'm in Salt Lake City. It is 8:01. Oh my god! I didn't change out of my work shoes. Oh my god! How embarrassing. Anyway, it's 9:01 because my clock is behind. My watch is behind. I'm in Salt Lake City. My sign-in is until 2:30, but this 6 a.m. flight out of Vegas was the only thing that was open. Of course, everything else was in the negative. So I got my booty butt up. I woke up late. I was running to the gate. Well, walking extremely fast. I didn't. I didn't break into a run. I'm sorry. I just wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> With like maybe four minutes to spare, it was just I will. <sighs> just crazy like I gotta tell y'all about my trip I gotta tell you about everything but I wanted to get off the train first because there's like people on the train and I know it's awkward to like be talking to a camera but y'all first of all how much time do I have left six minutes so of course I'm gonna be sitting here until 2 30 just crazy to okay I'm about to sit <laughs> don't be sure to leave me I pay for my ticket oh the last trip I had was so trash like we were supposed to do three legs to Dallas I believe the first day or two legs to Dallas two legs to Dallas Salt Lake to Mini Mini to Dallas do you know they canceled our working flight from Mini to Dallas then they canceled the next one after that so we sat in Minneapolis for two dollars an hour for seven hours and we're required to be at the airport at that time during that time just in case they want to change our schedule and give us something else to do insane insane and then at originally it was scheduled for like six hours and nine minutes anything over six hours and 15 minutes um you can request a hotel they didn't want to give us a hotel because it wasn't 6 15 it was 609 then they knocked it down to 607 i said hmm but then Five hours later, they delayed the flight for another 45 minutes. Like we knew they would. <laughs> I said, you know what? That's that bullshit. The only reason why I even got home yesterday, is, that was yesterday. The only reason why I even got home yesterday is because, well, it was the first day, but you know what I mean? Is because the jump seater didn't show up. If he would have showed up, I wouldn't have been able to get home until 11 p.m. last night just to catch. Just to catch the, uh, the 6 a.m. flight back to Salt Lake City. So, thank you to whoever didn't show up to the jump seat. Like, we love you for that. And, like, I'm glad I asked because this is a green to line train on. to downtown and West Valley. They had to put me on the, um, like, request me to have the jump seat. So, I'm glad I asked. I'm glad I was lurking around the gatehouse to see if he even showed up. He never did. So, it's the only reason why I got home yesterday. And now I'm back. And what's crazy is the crew that worked that flight to Vegas is the same crew that went out on the 6 a.m. And they're like, what are you doing? And I'm like, living my commuter life. Like. So, anywho, dropped my stuff off in the lounge. Now I'm gonna head to Target because I have some things that I need to get that I was supposed to get and I never had the time to get. So we're gonna do that, maybe walk around, enjoy the sun. It's 80 degrees at 9 a.m. So yeah. I'm 
my trust in you So I'm all done. I just finished eating. Um, it's a little after 12. I thought my sign-in was 2.30 and it's 2.15, which is not a big deal. But I'm gonna head back to the airport now. I actually am very happy that um, that I got out of the airport. And first of all, that burrito, fire. Okay, so good. And I don't know if it was just because I was hungry. I ordered another one for later. Um, Cause it was only like eight or nine bucks. And y'all know airport food is like, why am I paying rent just to get a piece of food in the airport? Like, I don't have nothing else for y'all. We go Salt Lake to, um, I don't know what's up with people in their horns in this city, but baby, I'm in the pedestrian cross, in the crosswalk. Like, I don't understand why y'all so aggressive. I, it's red light, where y'all gonna go anyway? You know what I'm saying? Where are you gonna go? I don't get it. Salt Lake City to Orange County. So Orange County turn back to Salt Lake City and then Salt Lake to Houston. So I'll be in Houston tonight, allegedly. Child, we all know how this summer flying go. I could be in, <laughs> let me not even say it because I probably will end up there. I love this lunchbox, y'all. Look how nice it is. It's like the perfect freaking size. Literally the perfect size. Like I said, the only thing that I would have to adjust and sew on there is a luggage strap. The mountains are so nice, but like not nice enough for me to move. <laughs> hmm. Y'all, I didn't tell y'all. Let me tell y'all, let me. Y'all, Pauline's rear view mirror melted off. It's probably melted off again as we're speaking right now. Like, that's insane to me, man. Like. Why is my car falling apart? Like, I just don't get it. I, I do get it. It's just so hot. Like, but how can I prevent that? You know what I'm saying? The visor for the windshield does not cover that part of the of the car. And so I was supposed to do that on camera with you guys today, this morning, and try to put like a command strip there, like duct tape or something. But your girl got out of bed at 4.45. Like, my flight was at 6. I got to the airport at 5.20. It had a hundred and something seats open. I was pushing it. Like, y'all, I think I was one of the last people to board. And they closed the door five minutes after I sat down. <laughs> I was just so tired. Like, what? And I just got home. I have layovers at my home now. I don't stay home. So... Unless I can't commute in for my trip and now I'm stuck home. The freaking rear view mirror fell off, y'all. No, it didn't fall off. No, it melted away. So I tried to fix it, but it was so hot. And I would have vlogged in that moment, but number one, it was so hot. My camera would have overheated immediately. And then also, I was in uniform. And it's just like, you know when you see something wrong? And you're like, why does that look off? You know? Why does that look, why does that look off to me like what what's not right here and then I look and I was like oh. I'm gonna insert a picture I took a picture of it I posted on my story I was just like you know I just first of all I haven't posted on my story in forever and I'm like everybody like girl so you just gonna post that you going to yes me and my car going through it it made me want to pack all my stuff and leave <laughs> I texted my friend I said I'm gonna go I'm gonna move out. I can't do this. I'm down where I'm not going anywhere. Like I love my spot. I love my spot. I love my building. I love my landlord. So amazing. Like I don't want to leave. Like I, I was just talking. You know what I'm saying? But like, dang. And then I was driving home, 
I had to keep ducking down to look in my rear view mirror. I was really just using my side mirrors. Let me get on the sidewalk before I get honked at again. I was really just using my side mirrors because that's all I had. It was so hot, I couldn't touch it, y'all. I couldn't touch it to even try to fix it or like post it back up on the thing. No. No. So, I had to drive like that. And then what was so funny was, when I was driving home, the guy in front of me, you know you could just see through somebody's car. He didn't have one either. He didn't have a rear view mirror either. And I was like, okay. It kind of makes me feel a little bit better, but like, <laughs> are you kidding me, man? Like, <sighs> there's no way that this is okay. Like, there should be special glue in Vegas for stuff like this. Because what does everybody do? Everybody just don't have a rear view mirror? Like, I don't get it. I just don't understand. Like, anybody lives in a hot city like Vegas, Phoenix, parts of Texas, where your rear view mirrors melt away? What do y'all do? Please let me know. Anyway, about to get back on the train. Bye! Hi! <laughs> I am finally off. When's the last time I talked to y'all? Oh, uh, God, I don't know. Sometime on my trip. So, I'm home now. I'm home today and tomorrow, kind of. Tomorrow I commute back probably because everything's gonna be in the everything's gonna be in the negatives, I'm sure. So I'm probably gonna have to commute tomorrow night. Um we aborted take up well mm. <laughs> we aborted landing yesterday. Salt Lake City was so bad, y'all. The sky was gray, it was purple, it was dark, it was lightning, thundering. Um, and it was even bad on the second attempt on landing and I thought we were gonna go back up again because it kind of felt the same and Gonna have to divert to Provo. I'm glad we didn't we landed I'm so glad and I'm so grateful and thankful that our pilots um, Did exactly what they're supposed to do. They kept everyone's safety including their own at the forefront um, It was apparently a really bad wind shear like at the very very last minute and that decision to just abort and try again honestly probably saved all of our lives or saved a lot of injuries or saved just in general saved a lot of paperwork um because it was really bad and so he could have easily tried it anyway and and we were about to touch i think we were at like 20 feet because when you're flight leader on that specific aircraft if you listen closely you can hear the um what the flight deck is like the I don't know. If you're a pilot, you know what I'm talking about. The 10, 15, 20, da, da, da. like I be listening. I don't care. I want to now. And as soon as it hit five, and then two seconds later, bam. You know. So I always like to hear and listen, especially because it's our job to make sure we're situationally aware. And so, upon landing or even takeoff, I'm always, always, always listening. That's another reason why I like to fly flight lead because I'm up there by myself. And I don't really have a lot of distractions. I don't have somebody trying to talk to me, um, which I don't mind sometimes, but at the same time, like, girl, shut up. Like, <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way, but like, seriously, shut up. Cause I'm trying to listen to hear anything. If I hear anything out of the ordinary, especially, you know, cause they're doing stuff up there. And as much as they're focused, it's our job to make sure that we're listening for certain things or, you know, watching passenger, you know, stuff like that. You gotta focus during that time. Cause girl, this is life or death, like literally. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I kind of just took some time to relax. Today, I edited and posted the vlog. Well, I edited it all last night. Oh, God, I was up until like 3 o'clock in the morning because I was behind. But I got it posted. So, it's posted. It's um, Vlog Tuesday. Yay, Blizzy Tuesday, Taurus Tuesday, whatever you want to call it. So, um, yeah, i just been editing. I watched a little bit of YouTube today. And I really just wanted to take a moment and just be grateful. Um, because anytime that 
Cause it was, yeah, it, the landing was so bad the first time and I was like, oh God. And the, the turbulence, hold on, let me. Why am I bending down talking to y'all? The turbulence, guys, was so bad and we were on one of the smaller jets that we have and as much as it is new, where's my tabletop? As much as it is like a newer aircraft, I don't be hearing it, like. It's giving Sharon is carry. They wanna know what I'm wearing. <laughs> um, I just, this is so loud. Maybe I should go in my bedroom and talk to you guys. So, um, yeah, anytime that the turbulence is so bad and like the landing is poor and we have to go back up or something happens last minute, I automatically go into like survival mode kind of. So anytime I'm repeating my commands to myself and waiting for that brace for landing command or waiting for that, you know, just waiting to evacuate the aircraft kind of mindset, not that I thought that we would, but if I'm repeating my commands to myself and making sure that like, as soon as I hear something, I'm ready to respond, it's not a good feeling. <laughs> Y'all, that turbulence was so bad, like really, really bad. And I was just like, um, yeah, so I really wanted to take a slow morning. I was gonna hit the gym like as soon as I woke up and then edit, but I was like, you know what? No, I just, let me give myself a moment because that is not a fun mindset to be in. And I think that a lot of people, whether you work as a flight attendant or aviation professional or not, we're so used to being put in that position like every time we go to work that sometimes it's like, oh, repetitive, blah, blah, blah. But like when it's really like, I thought you have to say some commands today. Like, if the wind shear happens again last minute, you know, and it's too late to hit, go back up or something, or like something happens and he tries to go back up and it goes back down, girl, I gotta be ready. Like, I don't like that feeling. I know this is my job, but like, it gets serious very, very fast. And good news is, I'm prepared for it, I'm well trained, I am confident in an evacuating an aircraft i have no issue with that but the aftermath of that i can only imagine how it feels for flight attendants number one that worked through 9 11 and are still flight attendants and then number two for any aviation professional that has had to evacuate aircraft prepare the cabin for an emergency landing a ditching especially the flight attendants on you know with the hudson and stuff girl i don't know if i can do it after that like <laughs> You gotta really love your job to come back after that. I just. <laughs> I flew, I've flown with a couple flight attendants that have had to do red emergencies, yellow emergencies, evacuate um, with or without pilot commands. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing to hear their stories. Bomb threats. Um, I have flown with so many flight attendants and kudos to you guys if any of you are watching um, or if there's any flight attendants just at any airline that have had to do that much respect to you guys that is a day that i just do not want to have at work um and i hope that you guys have healed from that you guys have gotten the support you needed if you needed any i hope that you bounce back and went back to work if that's what you wanted to do and that's how you handle it however i just hope you're better like because that is not a fun mental space to be in at all and passengers be looking at you crazy like especially after the aborted landing Everybody just looked up at me and I'm like this. On the inside, I'm like, bend over, stay down, bend over. <laughs> but on the outside, I'm like, <laughs> y'all, we be faking, we be scared too. Okay, we be scared too, but we can't show. I mean, you could definitely show it, but like, I'm calm, cool, and collected on the outside, you know? <laughs> Put on his stay seed, stay seed, release seat belts, leave everything. And I gotta be prepared for y'all mofos not to listen when we say leave everything. Y'all gonna be grabbing y'all bags and shit, and I'm gonna be yelling at y'all. Okay, I'm gonna get like two serious commands that they taught us. Everything else probably be curse words and yelling and whatever comes to mind if I see it. Jump slide, jump slide, jump slide, ah! Jump slide, jump slide, leave it alone! Jump slide. <laughs> oh lord it's just not a fun space to be in is all i'm saying so anywho i'm going to make these scrimps been editing and i realized that i was showing 
the outside of my casa and we just can't do that <laughs> girl we can't do that as youtube people are crazy people are weird um most of y'all are really sweet and very nice to me but like you just never know who's lurking girl so anywho i got these honey walnut shrimp from trader joe's and i'm really excited to try them they've in my freezer calling my name so we're gonna try them it says to put it in a skillet you can put it in an air fryer too but I don't think my air fryer is clean right now, and girl, I just, that's why I need a new one because it's a little bit oily. Oh, you know what? I think I only put a, I'm gonna smell it sometimes. I only put a quesadilla in here. I'm gonna just use it. a little bit of oil in there. I just use it, girl. You fine. Who else is here but me? It says cooking oil, large skillet. Oh, I don't know if I have, cook I have olive oil, but I don't feel like that's gonna be. I don't feel like that's gonna be good with like honey walnut shrimp olive oil. No, no, I'll just put them in the air fryer. Ugh. Oh, and then I didn't know how to list on a certain airline because people were telling me like you don't have to list, you just need to go up to the. Can you me? Okay, good. Yeah, you just need to go up to the um, gatehouse and they will list you. I have never tried to use that airline to go home and she barely knew how to do it. She told me I had to list myself, Ooh. but she didn't. Should I just make all of them and then warm it up later? What if they're soggy though? <laughs> she didn't know what to do. She didn't know the website. She didn't know any of that. And I'm just like, girl, and my other, my crew member on that this last trip, one of them lived in Vegas, so she was on. I guess she listed herself already, but I was told that they have to list you. So I didn't make a reservation or whatever, a non-rev reservation. So I missed that flight for no reason. It was really annoying too, because it would have got me home an hour earlier. But you know what, it's fine. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I ended up getting on a different airline home. It was a completely empty flight. I want to say it was about 20 of us on that flight. And one thing I like about that airline is that I think those last couple flights, whether they, because I've gone out with like seven people on my commuting flight home and they still have to reposition the aircraft into Vegas. So I really, really like that. And I think that a lot of those later night flights have to be repositioned for remain overnight flights. So I'm like, regardless if that plane if they ferry the flight they have to get it to Vegas so I really like that that's the second time it's been wide open and I'm so happy and they're always so nice I love the airline <laughs> been thought about but then I was like nope <laughs> I've been looking at the research tab on the creator studio and seeing what people are researching and like what they're searching for a lot of it is like makeup stuff and I'm not a makeup guru so I don't know if I feel comfortable is that loud I don't know if I feel comfortable even calling it a tutorial if I do one, um, but I usually do my makeup in my vlogs. So yeah, I don't know. Should I make it its own video? There's like some get unready with me's searches. So I did one last night. Um, it was nothing too crazy. Like I'm not gonna sit here and do like an elaborate get unready with me. Cause for me personally, it wasn't realistic. I was dog poop tired last night and yeah i just i did something very simple something i would always do i know that the some get unget what i know that some get unready with me's are like super like elaborate you got the bubble bath you got the face mask you got the this and the that girl i wasn't doing all that i was washing my makeup off i was getting in the shower i was washing my boutoir i was getting in the bed i made a little decaf coffee because i had to edit I brushed my teeth, I put my bonnet on, got a glass of water, and I went to bed. Like, I don't know if that's video worthy content. Like, do y'all want the elaborate stuff? Because if you do, like, I gotta set it up, I gotta set aside time. Oh, I do wanna try that bubble bath though. That milk bath stuff from Dr. Teal's. Hmm. But when it comes to like shower stuff, I don't be giving y'all a lot. I really don't. Like, I'm just, I'm. Uh, Sorry, you're gonna get my feet out of the shower. That's it. That's it. I'm I don't I don't think I'm the YouTuber for that. 
for like the shower routine content like as far as me being in the shower or like washing my hair and stuff and filming that i don't want to be in the shower with the bathing suit on i don't like the way it feels i don't i, I can't do it i can't do it unless i'm sponsored one day oh baby we don't have to make some shake but even then, <laughs> ah! but even then like i would have to do it my own way because i just oh being in the shower with some clothes on or like worrying about not having clothes on and worrying about like a nip slip or something oh child and then like i heard you gotta take like lukewarm showers because the fog and baby i like to boil so <laughs> oh that's gonna work i'll figure it out yeah i'm just chilling enjoying my day kind of just being grateful that i'm still alive and i'm still having my like everything that I left with, I came back with. You know, sometimes you just gotta sit in that and just be grateful. Um, this job is great, but like I said, sometimes it be them days like, baby, I was kind of scared. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous because like, <laughs> the plane was rocking so bad and we were so close to the, to the tarmac, like. <laughs> It was not smooth and then the second time was not smooth at all like <laughs> we had that tarmac and we were like <laughs> i said oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are the times that they train you for like <laughs> but anywho our captains were amazing our captain our first officer were amazing great guys did exactly what they're supposed to do like i said and i can just not I can't thank them enough for like being vigilant and you know following their training. Oh, uh, what else? I think that's all that happened on my trip. I had a great crew, super cool. It was three of us. I like when it's three because sometimes, like, there was a flight attendant. It was like that fourth one is always the drama maker. <laughs> but then I started realizing, like. You know what? It's always that one flight attendant that, that just throws everybody off or throws things off or is just like off. And girl, hell, maybe sometimes it was me, child, because I'd be quiet. My personality is not at work all the time. It's not because sometimes I don't. Here's the thing. I don't be coming to work to make friends. And I don't know if that sounds bad or not, but I know that I mean it from a good place. I don't see work as a socializing place i see it as a place to get my dollar to maybe make some connections along the way but number one get my dollar okay i don't have to talk to you the entire three days i'm gonna be burned out i already have to interact with so many people in such a short amount of time or like just so many people in one day in general i'm sorry i just ain't got it in me and i'm not a small talker so um yeah i don't feel the need I, I don't it's not a requirement for me to make friends or to socialize or like to be all up in somebody's business every single time that i work i i would be exhausted internally like i can't do it then i'll be too tired to vlog i'll be too mentally like wound up to do anything else i gotta reserve myself and i had to be comfortable with that and be like you know what that's not a bad thing because any other job, I was explaining this to somebody the other day, like any other job, you're not expected to hang out with your coworkers outside of work. You're not expected to talk to them and like be all up in their space and their business all day long. You know what I'm saying? And nobody thinks anything of it when everybody goes home at the end of the day at other jobs. But like, if you don't want to hang out with the crew, it's, you know, a lot of times it's very like, what's her problem? Or, oh, she doesn't, she has an attitude. Like just because I'm black and I don't want to hang out, I have an attitude. <laughs> Girl, I don't have no attitude. I'm just, I'm just kind and that's it. I'm kind to you and there is no extra fluff. There is no like trying to get to know you. I don't want to get to know everybody that I work with. I don't. I don't. And I had to tell somebody that too. Cause she was like, oh, we're having such a great time. I was like, yeah, you guys are a great crew. They're like, oh, you want to hang out? I was like, no. <laughs> and she was like, why not? And I was like, because I don't. Like, I don't want to spend my free time with you guys i'm spending all day with you guys and as much as i appreciate you guys and i really enjoy working with you i have to have a stop point my work can't follow me outside of this airplane i'm sorry i can't do that all the time and she was like so you never hang out with the crew i said every once in a while if i have the space for it yeah but mostly no i am a proud slam clicker 
and sometimes I don't even slam click and I don't lie about it you want to hang out no oh what you doing M not minding my business <laughs> she was like oh okay like she felt offended and I was just like girl why are you offended I don't want to hang out with you I'm literally face to face with you for three flights six hours today it's okay to like somebody and not want to hang out with them outside of work. I promise. And there is no shade. There is no nothing. Like, get your clingy ass. <laughs> but the other guy was like, oh, I understand. I'm a slam clicker. I got to go. Like, I can't, blah, blah, blah. And she was just so taken aback by it. And I'm like, it's okay. You're one of those that comes to work for friends. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's some people that love that. They come to work. They want to meet new people. They want to make new connections. And they have the space for it kudos to you there's nothing wrong with any side of what i'm explaining here but it's just girl girl and that's why i like to be up front that's why i like to have a three-person crew because i'm up front they in the back and like we just i help them as soon as i'm doing my service you know what i'm saying i do the trash i do the water and i come back up and i'm on my business and there's nobody there to be like why aren't you wanting to hang out with me girl <laughs> Woo! anyway I will hit you guys up a little bit later when the shrimp is done, let you know how it tastes, because I can smell it. Oh, it smells good. Should I go flip them? Should probably go flip them. Yeah, I don't. I just don't want to talk too much out there because while I'm editing, I'm realizing the dishwasher is so loud, the washing machine is so loud. I had to turn my AC off because that was really loud. Like this camera picks up everything, whether I use my microphone or not, it picks up everything. So I will hit you guys up a little bit later and let you know how the shrimp tastes. I have faith in Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's and Good and Gather brand, like, bomb. Bomb foods. Okay, guys, this is how they turned out. I just shook them up in this little Tupperware container. I'm gonna put them in this bowl and make them look all pretty, but they look good so far. So let's see. It's the fact that I only have one chopstick because I wanted to use chopsticks, but like I've been using them to stir my coffee. <laughs> so let's see how they taste. No. They definitely taste store bought. They definitely should have been in the air fryer. I mean, in the skillet. Because as much as they are crunchy, they're not like fried taste and it does taste like It tastes like they were baked. They're not like crispy fried juicy. So I would give them another chance. But I would cook them in the skillet this time. With the oil like they said. Mm. Mm. But I'm gonna eat them. The sauce though, don't they great. If you like the honey walnut shrimp from Panda Express, don't buy this. Cause that's not what you're getting. Regardless if you cook the shrimp on the skillet, it's the sauce. So, it's giving cafeteria food. It's giving the schoolhouse tried to do like a restaurant style meal for the day. And it still tastes like cafeteria food. <laughs> But I'm no stranger to cafeteria food, so Back to editing. Okay, y'all so it's time to make some lunch. It's 3 30 and I don't know I'm guessing I'm gonna make like a Tomato spinach and basil pasta. I don't really have much because I haven't been home, so I haven't wanted to grocery shop because, of course, the food will go bad. But I do want to start using my basil for my plants. Like, it's time. It's time. Like, look at it. Grown a lot, okay? Literally grown. Like, it's time to get to plucking. <laughs> so, ooh, and it just smells so good. Look how it leans, y'all. 
so I just flipped it around so maybe it'll lean that way. It's just gonna be one of those, I'm gonna throw this together and see how well it comes out. I have some tomato that I need to use that I got from the farmer's market, like local market, and I really don't want them to go bad, so I'm gonna chop those up. I have onion, spinach from that market, like all the spinach, butter, chicken bouillon, garlic, I'm gonna have olive oil, like, I, I don't know. I'm just going to throw it together and see how well it comes out. I have protein, but it's all frozen. So it might just be like a no protein kind of thing. Oh, and then the pasta is made from chickpeas. And I've had this in my cabinet for a while. I just haven't used it yet. So like, I guess now is the perfect time. So I'm just going to watch some TV and kind of do this. I don't really want to talk through it because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Like. I have like an idea and we're gonna see how it comes out. I know how to cook, so it's not like, oh my God, but you know. So anywho, let's just montage this, I suppose. I tasted the pasta a little bit before I put it in here and it's actually really good. I think the chicken bouillon paste really helped it out a little bit. Okay, let's see. And then I probably put it on the screen already, but I think this is like cracked black pepper, white cheddar cheese. I didn't want the, God, those flowers smell good. I didn't want the pasta to have like a cream sauce. I do have heavy whipping cream in there, but I was like, that's probably gonna give me pimples. It's probably gonna bloat me. Like I probably gonna give me gas. So I just did not use that. But I did want it some what? I did want some kind of cheese, like some kind of something. A little.
scratch poop. <laughs> just playing. <laughs> just playing. Like, I would have HelloFresh right now if I didn't have such a crazy schedule. Mm. Wow. That is so good. I was worried because it didn't have like a creamy sauce, but wow. And I like my uh, noodles to be a little bit on the firmer side. So I would suggest if you don't, I would cook these a little bit longer, but they don't taste any different. They're chickpea, pasta, whatever. Doesn't taste any different. Tastes just like pasta, so great. And them little hints of cheese really like, really shush it up a bit. <laughs> this is so good and for it to not have any protein, but I think because the chicken bouillon, it makes it a little bit savory. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and bore y'all and tell y'all over tell y'all over and over again how good this is i'm just gonna finish editing enjoy my lunch and i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow because i don't have any plans for the day like this is my recoup recovery day from work just to do it all over again tomorrow so yeah bye good morning <laughs> Yes, I am in the same robe from the last clip. Mind your business. Okay. This is what I do when I'm home. I relax. Okay. I've been editing. I've been cleaning. All my laundry is done. My dishes, they're clean, but they're all done. I still need to meal prep. My bag is packed. I want to leave on the 6 a.m. flight. But I'm gonna check at the very last minute tonight and if the sick day in flight even looks a little bit questionable, I'm just gonna take the last flight out tonight, which is so annoying, but I really, I just, I can't risk it. For various reasons, I can't risk it. So, I really needed to go to the store. I just don't know if I'll have I don't know if I will have the time to do so. I wanna to go to the gym. Girl, it's just a lot. But the reason why I'm kinda of stressed is because I really wanna do like a maintenance video today. And I know that's gonna take a while because I need to wax. I need to do my nails. I need to do my eyebrows. I need to, I really, really, really wanna try that milk bath thing. And so I know that's gonna take all day, especially my nails. I'm trying to figure out when's the best time to do them because I won't be able to do anything else. And that takes about two and a half, three hours. It's 10 a.m. So yeah, I need to still eat, nourish my body, you know what I'm saying? So girl, we're just gonna see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to vlog much today. I don't know if this is goodbye. If it is, thank you for watching. And if it's not, we're gonna continue this vlog through my Houston trip, which is tomorrow. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I am almost done filming the maintenance vlog. I've done my eyebrows, I've waxed my pits, I've washed my makeup brushes, um, did my face mask, took a shower, all that stuff. Do y'all know there was like a little insect, I don't know, what are they called, cicadas or something? I don't know if he got in here when I went out to drink some of my coffee this morning on my balcony. I shortly realized it was way too hot to drink hot coffee <laughs> on the balcony. So I'm wondering if he got in then. But like I was cleaning my makeup brushes, scared the hell out of me. He was like this big, y'all. So I vacuumed him up. It's a him for sure, I already know. Vacuumed him up in the little handheld vacuum. And he's like jumping around in there. I'm like, oh my God, I feel so bad. But like, I don't want to stomp it or anything. I just. Just get out, like unless you handing over my rent, leave. Like, <laughs> so I had already dumped the the handheld vacuum out earlier today when I was vacuuming up my hair and stuff, right? And I already dumped it out, so it was clean, thank God. 
So when I went to dump him out over my balcony, the freaking, <laughs> the vent part flew out onto the sidewalk. And I was just so happy nobody was down there because like, <sighs> so I was like, fuck. Now I have to put on clothes and go outside. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about this Vegas heat, like baby. Go outside searching. First of all, I had to look up at the building to see where my balcony was because all of them look the same, right? So I'm looking and I'm looking and I just hope that nobody, because there's a lot of people that live in this building. And I'm like, I really hope that they're just not people watching like I am most of the day. Why does my head look like this? Is it because it's in the wide lens? Girl, girl, can we get some? <laughs> Anyway, it just looks long. Like, what is this? Why does my forehead look so... Girl, so anywho, is this how my forehead always been? Y'all just been watching this big-ass forehead? Okay. <laughs> so anyway, I had to go down there, and I'm wandering around the street looking sus as hell, okay? And I'm just like... I'm looking for the little vent that goes to the thing. So much out there. It is so hot. I was supposed to go to Target. I'm gonna have to go when the sun is down. It's still gonna be hot, but at least it won't be like shining on me. Y'all, it was so hot out there. And I'm just looking around, looking around. Somebody's like walking by, like with that. Finally found it, dusted off, and just came up here and minded my business. So I just thought I would come on here and say hi, check in with you guys. Tomorrow, I just checked the flights. Um, there's 69 open seats for the 6 a.m. It just really sucks because my son, my sign-in isn't until like 2, 2.15 I think. I think it's the same trip, it's just double Houston this time instead of Houston, Sacramento. So um, yeah, that just kind of sucks. So you know what, maybe I can go to Target and Salt Lake. What's on my list before I even try to do some stuff like that? Like what's, y'all I got so much done today so far. Oh no, I gotta get this stuff from here cause I have to cook. Yeah, I want a meal prep. Like, I can't keep spending so much money on um, airplane food. But on top of that, the aircraft that I've been flying, the one I really, really like, doesn't have a chiller. So it's just kind of like, and then I'm going to be there from 8 a.m. until 2. I mean, I, I guess I can go outside security and just put my stuff in the fridge. But that is so, oh, excuse me. That is just so annoying. I hate going into the lounge. I am not a lounge type of flight attendant. I'm sorry. I stay away from the lounge as much as humanly possible for various reasons, but like, I just, I'm just not one of those that just chills in the lounge all the time. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, I've had enough of the lounge. Yeah, because I don't even think our lounge, unless there is iron and I just didn't see it. But like, here's the thing. Nope, let it go, let it go. <laughs> I'm gonna let the interaction go. Anyway, last time I asked for an iron, no one was of any help to me and like, extremely like not even like trying to help me and I'm just like bitch I'm just asking for you know what we're gonna let it go <laughs> so that being said I really just need to not change out of uniform because if I put it in my bag it's gonna get all wrinkly and I'm just my ancestors be watching me and I can't do them like that you know what I'm saying I just can't have no wrinkly ass shirt at work it's just not I mean unless I wake up late and it is what it is that's one thing and I try to like iron my stuff. I'm rambling, I hope you enjoy. I try to iron my stuff the night before, but sometimes girl, I need tired. <laughs> need tired. And I don't have an iron here. <gasps> Damn. <sighs> I don't have an iron. No, I need to go to Walmart. I can't do this. You know why I don't have an iron? Because I usually just throw everything in the dryer. And I try to take it out the dryer as soon as it gets out the dryer. What? <laughs> Girl, I was gonna go get like a cute little Prosecco bottle. Do I need one? Do I need one? Like this is me on the normal, regular, sober ass basis, girl. <laughs> um, I usually take it out the dryer as soon as it's done. So like the wrinkles don't set in or anything. So I've been getting by without having an iron. I think it's because every single time I go to get an iron, I'm just like, why is it so expensive? Why is the ironing board $40? And I don't want no janky ironing board, but like, why is it 45 doll hairs for an ironing board? I just, it's just one of those things where I'm like, I don't, me personally, I just think that's a ridiculous price for an ironing board. Have they always been that expensive? I've never bought one. I mean, I had one in New York. The when the, the what? The one that goes over the door, but I don't want that. It was just too much, like, 
closing the door like that little weird oh god it was getting on there so bad but i didn't feel the need to buy another one because it would be a waste but now i want one that stands up <laughs> where would i put it i don't know but like i just yeah oh, my skin is peeling and i think it's that um cause rx moisturizer that cream moisturizer um in the jar that's the only time my skin peels like this like you see it's like the buildup of product and stuff and it's just like the more you wipe the more it peels anyway so i'm really productive today i did my flat iron hair video that's all done it goes up on the 27th it is the 26th right now so it goes up tomorrow my vlog is loading now for tuesday i do have a sunday video upload that i just need to finish i have all of these um listen this description bar this is my description bar for that lifestyle haul video that you guys are probably going to see way before this this is the description bar these are all the time stamps these are all the things like the chapters like all the products that i have to list on there like when I was doing it, I was like, I'm not going to do this. They can just listen and read along or write along. And I was like, no, you need to have some quality effort and content. Like, don't be half assing your crowd. Don't do that. Because if your favorite YouTuber did a lifestyle haul video and you like some stuff, but you couldn't remember and they didn't have it in the description bar, I would be mad too. <laughs> like, girl, what? <laughs> Ain't nobody tell you to sit here and talk about all these items and you ain't feel like listing them. Like, girl. <laughs> so, I did all that last night. I was literally falling asleep doing this. This is the last thing that I did last night. So, yeah, I'm just glad that it's all written down. So now all I have to do is just put it in the description bar all nice, neat, and cute. Go through that video one more time. It is an hour. I did not want it to be that long, but it just is what it is. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to wait till the sun goes down to go to Target. I'm over the sun, honestly. The Vegas sun. Like, I know there's so many different suns out there. But this Vegas sun? No, this one is different. <laughs> this one is different. Yes, it's a dry heat. And no, you're not automatically sweating as soon as you walk outside. The air is not thick like it is like in Houston very thick very humid it's not like that but baby it is hot okay hot like <laughs> you are in an air fryer okay that's my cue i gotta go bye y'all Ooh. <laughs> don't mind the hair don't mind the horrible overhead lighting listen i have been trying to do my toes for the past hour okay they're not done like <laughs> I just don't understand what's happening. I tried to paint them, what? I tried to paint them white, hot mess. They just came out so ugly. I don't know what the hell. So I threw that nail polish away because it was so thick. And then I tried to paint them like a pink, like a baby pink, like bubble bath, hot mess again. I'm like, what is going, you know what? It's just not time for me to paint my toes. That's what that is. That's all that is. And I'm not going to, um, it was supposed to be part of my maintenance vlog. Or maintenance video girl I just let it go I just gave up because what's the plan I'm not about to sit here and fight with toes no no then I realized crap I still have to go to the store oh my god like <laughs> I am just I'm all over the place and nothing is happening like nothing is wrong nothing is happening I've had a superb day it's just like what like that whole foot situation just threw me off. And I think Target closes at 9. Oh, they close at 10? Okay, we're gonna go to Target. Because y'all know I said I like to wait until... Y'all, it is 8.32. It's still 102 outside. 102 straggly little degrees. Like, no, nah, that's some big degrees those are some big degrees like what why is it still 102 it's 102 at 8 30 like the sun is gone anyway i'm really happy that they close at 10 i thought they closed at 9 that's really great so let's head to target get some of the things that i need <sighs> what 
did I need, child? Like, what? What even did I need? Like, I just feel like I'm gonna be going to a different Target because they may not even have. Let me just check on the Target app. See which Target has my basil, Thai basil chicken rolls or whatever. Them things were so good. Yes, chicken Thai basil spring rolls. If y'all ever, if y'all ever see these, what you call it, in the, these things, hold on. the Good and Gather brand, hello, there we go, those right there, baby, if you like spring rolls or like chicken or any kind of Thai flavored, any kind of, any vibe like that, oh, it's because I'm in HDR, whatever, Eesh buy them because they're so good like ever since i bought those i've just been thinking about them like it's time it's time to get those i'm gonna go up to that target i need i don't need them but i want them um some naan because i'm gonna make some more hummus am i doing all of this tonight am i it's 8 35 my flight's at 6 a.m but i need some meal prep y'all like i can't keep i need coffee creamer I can't, like I said earlier, I cannot keep spending this crazy amount of money on airport food. And here's the thing about airport food. The food don't even be good. <laughs> Maybe in certain cities, the airport food is good. It's always expensive. But like Salt Lake City airport food is just not good. And I'm so tired of not eating nourishing foods and i just can't so let me put some clothes on because i just have on this set oh my god you know when you just get, do your nails or get your nails done like you have to get used to the length again. I went from no nails to like. <laughs> so I just hit my freaking thumb and I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I will catch you guys in Target. You scared the shit out of me, man. Sorry. Here's the thing, like, he scared me, not because I didn't know that he was there, because I saw the shadow of his feet as I was walking. Cause like, I'm very observant, even though I had my stuff in my hand, like I'm, I'm very observant. But like, why are you standing behind the freaking cement thing? Like the wall, like why are you standing behind there? And so I'm like looking at the shadow of his feet. And then when I clear the wall, we make eye contact. And I was like, yeah, you scared the shit out of me. Like, AKA you're being weird. You're being weird. Um, but I just saw that car, like the lights went off, so I'm guessing he just got out of his car. But I'm like, why are you standing behind the freaking thing? That is so weird to me. Don't be a weirdo. Like, don't be weird. <laughs> Cause I will call security on you. They know my face. <laughs> we friends after that man stole my packages, stole my groceries. <laughs> like, how are you gonna do all the shopping and steal the groceries like charges? I guess we had the same thing. I guess we needed the same stuff. You know what I mean? But yeah, like you see these columns. Well, maybe you can't see them. I'm going to drive past one. And then you guys can see because I'm not going to show my parking deck. That's just dumb. Okay, this column here. He was standing behind that. But like I saw his the shadow of his feet from the front. So I'm looking like, who the fuck is that? And why the fuck are they standing there? I don't be playing. I really like that bench truck. I don't know. There's so many options. Like, ah. I need to settle down on one so I can really like make my mind up because when the time comes for me to just go get what I want, I need to be able to just go. Like, and go get. I don't want to sit here and car shop all day long. Y'all know it was stressful for me and Pauline to even become one. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm-mm. Mm -mm. I want to know. I want to have exactly what I want in mind. So there's a couple different things like that Ford truck. 
that four chuck is just so oh my god i keep forgetting about this freaking mirror did i tell y'all that the mirror melted off i feel like i told y'all already i told everyone in my life that my mirror fell off like melted off my car so i don't know i kind of fixed it it's janky it's crooked y'all like it's it will hold you it is crooked but like <laughs> what doesn't melt that is adhesive you know what i'm saying like i don't i asked him i told my landlord i was like we could share a command strip because hers fell off too but she has a porsche so like i don't feel as bad i was like maybe it's just my janky ass car no like it's vegas <laughs> and so i was like we can share a command strip and she was like i've already tried that it doesn't work and i'm like ah. Okay, because this is a one-way, so why are you even coming this way? And this is why they put the signs up for Id idiots. Idiots like you. Like, why would you do that? And then when I'm trying to turn, you just stop? And you don't give me any space? That is so annoying. <sighs> like, they literally put up one-way signs for people like that. Because they just come around the corner all crazy, like. And I'm just like... It says 10 miles per hour. And I know y'all have very nice cars and I know y'all probably have money to fix my car if we got into an accident and you hit me. But that doesn't mean I want it to happen. Like, I just don't understand. And then they put the signs up and y'all not listening to the signs. So anywho, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get away from home. <laughs> I'm going out this late, like. I'm out with the hooligans and like the teeny boppers <laughs> and the youngins like girl it's a Wednesday at 9 o'clock shut up <laughs> but for real I don't be out like this like this is how you know it's hot as hell I don't want to go out is this what is this oh my god no that isn't it that's how you know it's hot like I could have been did this earlier today, but baby, I just was not trying to melt. And I'm a long sleeve and shorts kind of girl. And so that just does not pair well with Las Vegas sun at 2 p.m. on any given day. So uh yeah. Anywho, like why was he standing there? Oh, that's bothering me. Like I watch too much you, like Joe. <laughs> Joe quit playing, like why are you standing there like that? <laughs> why are you standing there like that? I was supposed to get Pauline a car wash, she gets so dirty. But then I thought like, what's the point of going to get a car wash when I'm gonna be gone for another seven days? Like I have a three day trip, I have one day off, and then I have eight days. So that one day off is gonna be spent coming home flipping my bag and going right back out for eight days depending depending on um what they give me for my reserve days really really hope that it's a late report why do y'all drive in a box oh my god y'all are so annoying like, i should be used to it because the way people drive in Atlanta is insane. Nobody's from there. It doesn't really matter if you're from there or not. Nobody could drive out there. Maybe it's just organized chaos in New York. Maybe it's just because I haven't had a car in so long. God, I don't know. But like, people drive so dumb. Oh, Lord, I can't. I was over here complaining about nonsense. Months ago, I was wishing to be able to complain about this kind of stuff. Like. Can we just take a moment? Wow, like, y'all, I really lived in New York. I really packed up my whole entire life and moved to freaking New York right after I packed up my whole entire life and moved to Dallas. Like, wow. I've come such a long way. And I need to do more of like sitting in that feeling because. I'm just so hard on myself. If you're somebody that's so hard on yourself, please just relax. For me and for you, relax, bro. Like, I know you have so much to do, and I'm speaking to myself as well in this moment. Like, you have so many things you want to accomplish. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things that you probably feel like held you back, and you could have been a lot farther in this moment. But, girl, and when I say girl, I mean all of y'all. Like, 
relax bro <laughs> relax because if you don't if you don't sit here and cherish these moments you're just gonna keep going through life wanting more and more and more and then you're gonna look back and be like wow i never even enjoyed anything that i had you know what I'm saying? So, like, even though Pauline is a little bit questionable, we love her. We love the fact that she's getting us to Target, and we love the fact that she's getting us back home, and she's going to get us to work tomorrow, okay? Wow. I love the fact that I am amongst palm trees. Can we just talk about that for a second? All the times that I've vlogged in New York, I just was like, I just want to be around palm trees. Like, I just want my own balcony. Now I have my own balcony and I don't be out there because I don't want to be dry to toast, okay? But when it hits fall and it's like in the 80s and 70s, oh baby, best believe, I'm, catch me on my balcony. I'm going to soak up every ounce of that balcony that I can because I prayed for that. Like, I asked for that and just to see it, like, just to know, like, I went out there for five seconds, five seconds today. <laughs> And I was just like, just to be able to go and do that, that's just a blessing in itself. And I know to some people that's small and to others it's like, wow. But to me, it's like, wow. Especially like, crazy, they drive crazy. Especially just like knowing how much I went through, especially in New York. Wow. In like 20 somethings, when you do something like that for the first time, like I literally, okay, it was one thing for me to just pack up my stuff and move to New York. It was crazy for me to even pack up my stuff and move to Dallas. That was so random. But like, to move time zones like that, well I guess Dallas is a different time zone, I'm just rambling. But like, to move across the country, I really did that. I can't, I'm not over that yet. Please don't get over here. Please don't get over here. Mr. Escalade, please, please hold your wagon. Hold your wagon. Girl, I'm telling you, like they be all on the line. Do you not feel that? They have those little things there on part, well, it's a suburban, but still. They have those things on the ground for a reason. Like you're driving over them and you don't care. Like I just, anyway, I really got up and said I'm done with this and got the hell on like to me that's crazy like why are you so cool no, let me get let me go let me go because he's doing weird things um and I was just so unhappy in New York for the longest time everything is hard to do the quality of life was trash I was frustrated everywhere I turned what I will say is I was so very grateful for that apartment but like at the same time I was so I had outgrown it so bad like so so bad it was just time and it was at one point where I just didn't know I'm sorry that it's so dark but like I just didn't know if I was coming or going I didn't know my up for my down like it was just one of those moments in life and I was just like I can't do this something has to shake and baby when it shook <laughs> My little booty butt landed right in Vegas. Like what? <laughs> Girl, what? Now this heat? I don't know. I don't know. The flight attendant job is kind of saving me because I be gone. You know what I'm saying? But like this heat is really something else. I have never heard of a rear view mirror melting off of a vehicle before. See, look, mm -hmm. accident already. Let me hurry up and get my stuff and go home. Cause I'm not gonna play with y'all. Last night when I was coming home, well not last night, but are you gonna get over? Just get over. Oh, they got all this blocked off. I was just getting over cause I'm gonna be turning left soon. <gasps> Oh, this looks really bad. And what are you doing? No, we're not doing this. You're not about to just, uh-uh, no. Fall in line like everybody else. Stop being annoying. I hate that. Like, if you see somebody, if everybody's merging into one lane, don't try to speed up and get in front of somebody. No, just fall in line. Like a little zipper, just fall in line. Don't do that. Don't. <laughs> Why do I care so much? Anyway, this looks really bad. But, um... Yeah, like I just, 
I think I've I've settled enough in the place where I like okay I live here you know but like I'm still kind of shocked at myself I'm very proud of myself oh my god oh god I don't see any ambulance so I think they're okay unless this just just happened oh frick oh that's so bad oh there's two cars oh man you guys like one car was all the way in the fence like up on the cement into the fence the other car jacked i'm telling you people drive crazy. they do not freaking they don't pay attention out here and that's why when people act weird and do weird things i'm like oh, let me get away from you <laughs> let me get away from you but anywho oh, i need to fix this so bad like it was fine for a second but now it's like <gasps> and there it goes i shouldn't have touched it yeah, I don't think y'all understand. <laughs> Girl, what is this? What is this? And I need that because people are crazy. Like, now nah, I gotta make her some. Can I use like putty or something? Is putty gonna melt? Yeah, it's just dangling. This is killing me. This is killing me. <laughs> Anywho, I'm just, I'm, when you do something like that in your 20s for the very first time and it all works out and there's just nothing wrong, nothing is happening and it's just like a big, I guess when you just take big risks in life in general, it's just like, I need a couple months and I know I moved in February, like fully in February, but like some days and i feel like i talked about this in another vlog some days i really do feel like i moved here last month or last week and i'm just like i wake up and i'm like vegas <laughs> am i on a layover <laughs> am i on a layover like what else can i do you know what i mean so i'm like i said i am excited for the next step i'm just like really trying to take this in and i don't know I'm so blessed so grateful I'm like just so so sometimes honestly very speechless like girls. I wish that the rear view mirror that is dangling in front of me was in the shot because it it just looks so ridiculous did my one year update video y'all would think that's like a motorcycle right baby that is a truck anyway to be vlogging and like oh my god what is everybody doing i can't like why are you drifting over into other by other bodies lane i can't even speak because it drives me insane like Drive the car and stay in your lane. It's not that hard, people. It's really not. Like, ugh. I don't know when the best time to come out is. Early in the morning when they first open. I was way too tired for that. This morning, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And y'all, it's like 100 degrees at 10 a.m. So, like, at least right now, like I said, the sun is not out. But it's 106. 106 like why does the temperature sound like a time but yeah anyway my journey with vlogging like I just wow like I've come so far just internally and emotionally and mentally that like I'm not crying my eye just really itches <laughs> that like to be able to look back on those vlogs I don't really watch them but like just to know that they're there and I can go back and see how much I've grown as a person and just see how much I enjoy like I 
how much I had fun and how much I did enjoy that space. Even now I look back and I was like, wow, I would just outgrow that space. But like to see myself be happy regardless of what was going on around me, regardless of how stressed I was, I still was able to find happiness and find peace and find, um, what is it called? Like uh, serenity in such a tiny space. I just, not such a tiny space, but like such a place to find serenity in a space like that where it was so much chaos. Y'all didn't have a thermostat, I didn't have an AC. Like, it was so much wrong, but even though it was so much that was wrong about that place, it was very questionable. Roaches, okay, loud neighbors, crazy shit going on in the building all the time. Like, always had to be on public transportation. Just still finding happiness and finding my, like, really building my foundation and core as a person back to what it should have been this entire time it's just wow like I'm so proud of myself and if I can do it in that space I know that I'll be fine for like because I've always been that way like my personality has not changed and the, how I know that is people that have known me long long time ago that are watching my vlogs and like send me messages they're like wow you haven't changed like you're still like this bubbly you know goofy whatever whatever kind of person and I'm just like wow I am like that's great because I know I've witnessed the growth in myself and I guess that's just growing up and being more mature and stuff like that but like just to hear that from people that have known me years and years and years ago whether they work with me whether we went to school together whether we met randomly like to hear that from those people is just insane because I'm like oh wow like so that means I've made some kind of impression on you a, a decent one to where you're like yeah I remember you and I'm just like oh wow oh. <laughs> I love y'all too like <laughs> that's good to know and it's it's a good reminder because only you know what you've been through right and so sometimes it's just kind of like I feel like I've changed a lot but to know that the really good parts of me have not left that just girl we're not gonna do this tonight hold up it's too late it's too late I know you ain't gonna make up on it you could drop a little tear if you want we're not doing that it just makes me feel so good like it makes my heart very very happy because I'm like I've been through a lot that could have turned me very cold and could have destroyed my personality and my and just how my brain functions how I view the world how I view people um and so to know that that hasn't really tarnished the light that I have the light that was given to me I wow like speechless you know what I'm saying speechless and I'm just so grateful for that because, like I said, <laughs> your girl been through a lot. <laughs> a lot that could have really, really ruined who I am as a person. Like, really. Like, really, really. I think y'all understand when I say really. I mean, like, oh, is this a target I don't like? Oh. Oh. <gasps> Girl, let me just go in this Target, get my little basil rolls, and shut up. Cause I just need y'all to see this. I need y'all to see it. I need y'all to see it. This is what I've been looking at. <laughs> anyway, oh, but I do like this Target in the daytime because over there is this beautiful mountains and stuff. This is so ratchet. This freaking. Girl, please, please find something to tape or like, I just, I just, I just, I just, what is this? I have never heard of that before. And I put it on my story and people are like, girl, what? And I'm like, this is my life. Like, Pauline, like, Pauline, Pauline. 
Pauline. Pauline. Pauline. <laughs> Girl. Not the shadow. All right. So let me head into Target, grab the things I need to grab, and yeah, do y'all wanna come with? I guess you guys can come with. Come with, let's go. Okay, so I got everything except for the freaking tape for this thing, guys. Like, I knew I was missing something. And they were like, which I don't blame them because they were about to close. It's 9.50 right now, they close at 10. But like, ever since 9.20, ever since 9.25 when I walked in there, they were making announcements every five minutes that the store is closing. I'm like, dang, okay, we get it. Like. <laughs> And like I said, I can't blame them because they're trying to get everybody out and ain't no telling what they have to go through on a daily basis. But like every like every five minutes you have to do it. Every five. You can't do it like every ten. Like I don't I don't get it. <laughs> Anywho, I used to work here at Chaz, so not too much on Target. Not too much, girl. Not too much. Don't forget where you came from. <laughs> Anywho. Maybe I can just I need some like duct tape or something. It, duct tape probably isn't gonna fit either, or probably not gonna stay either, but like, yeah, I don't have anything in, I don't even remember how I had it up here so it wouldn't at least dangle in my face the entire time. banged it in with my other water bottle. Like, how does all of this come off? That's crazy. Y'all, I need y'all to see what I have to do. <gasps> Girl girl like the entire thing came off to me that's just a bit excessive like is this what y'all have dealt with if y'all live in vegas if anybody's watching me lives here like what the hell do you do in this like what? it's just it's just it's just i think because i'm getting hungry i'm a little irritable right now the cycle is probably right around the corner i just i'm done i'm done with this shit like i can't Seriously, not in the mood.
not in the mood, bro. Like, I'm really not. <laughs> Just one little bump, child, and it's gonna fall down. I already know. I already know. But I hope you guys like the way I vlogged in Target this time. I'm really trying to do, like, different stuff because, like... It's just a little hard to get creative <laughs> when all you're doing is grocery shopping like <laughs> but anywho <clears throat> i'm gonna head home now get ready for my trip you know what while there is oh my god it's so crooked but i'm scared to touch it i can't see anything should i touch it okay yeah no it's just gonna stay like that so what's the point in while well, there's nobody behind me, let me just double check the 6 a.m. Because if it looks questionable, I may have to take a 5 a.m. on another airline. That's just insane. Like, that's crazy to me. I don't know what's going on with the company website, but, like, I can't freaking... I have to clear my browsing data like every time I want to log into like the non rev site. Girl, girl, girl. Like for what? Why? Get y'all shit together. I'm just. <laughs> Please get y'all shit together. Like I'm just grumpy right now. I'm getting hungry. I'm kind of irritated. <laughs> My cycle is probably right around the corner. Probably like tomorrow. Because there's no reason why I should be getting irritated like this. At the drop of a dime. Like. Good news is I can recognize it. <laughs> okay. So there's 63 seats. I should be okay. They better not do any funny business. Don't try to cancel the flight. There's four seats on the next flight, and that's the only one that will, um, the last one on my middle that will get me in on time. 34 seats open on a 7.30. Honestly, what's the point? An extra hour of sleep, maybe? It's 10 on 5. That's the only thing about going to the store late. It's like, good news is my bag is packed, though. Like, everything is done. All my laundry is done. Everything is done. I don't have to worry about any of that. I'm very, very proud of myself that I got that done. But, like, I still got to sleep. Oh, shoot. This is Rancho. Which way did I go? I think I came. It's so weird. all this stuff away do like honestly I probably should just I don't want to pull an all-nighter but I feel like if I don't meal prep and cook because I took out some Trader Joe's pollo pollo asado chicken chicken asado chicken I pulled that out to defrost and I need to cook it like I have a three-day trip coming up and I know it's gonna be hard to meal prep for three whole days that's 18 meals. I don't think y'all understand. Like, three, three, that's not 18, that's nine. But still, like, if you do three meals a day, that's still nine different things you have to pack. Not different things, but like, who wants to eat the same exact thing all the time? That's nine things you have to pack. I mean, I guess I could um, put stuff in plastic bags, but like, I gotta keep all that stuff cold. It's just... I really need them to open up a base in Vegas and quit playing with me. This is insane. So I guess I can just make all the chicken and do one with rice and beans and chicken. I just don't want to eat chicken the entire time. God, it's going to be so annoying. I do have that pasta. I do have those rolls. I'm just going to have to make food. I don't know why I'm acting like I haven't meal prepped before, 
but like it just like I said during the day okay let's say I cook the food or whatever and I put it in the fridge while I'm waiting on my sign in right great but the rest of the day I'm gonna be on three different flights and be flying all day long and that food is not gonna be cold like it's not gonna be It's not going to be like in a safe, it's not going to be a, at a safe temperature. And the last thing I need is to get food poisoning for my own food. How embarrassing, like. I mean, I guess it'll all be cooked, but like. I don't know, y'all. This job really stresses me out in ways that like, I should not be stressed out about. Like, why am I stressed out about food? It drives me nuts. Like, I should not be stressed out about how I'm going to eat for the next three days. Or literally spending all my freaking money on food. I could do two-day trips, but that's not lucrative for me. I'm a commuter. So. And I'm not paying for a crash pad. It's just not happening. And I know people are like, well, you need to, like, sacrifice. There's things that you need to, like, give and take. Yeah, I know, but I can't do a crash pad. That's disgusting. I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, eight people to a bathroom. People don't clean up after themselves. I understand that there's some great crash pads out there, and kudos to them, but I don't even want to take the chance. Mm -mm. I'm over it. I'm so over crash pad. Like, I cannot do it. And like I may be off reserve come September so I just have to push through summer flying I just think that's what it is I think summer flying just really takes a lot out of me personally and it just seems to get worse and worse every year operation wise passenger interaction wise Heat wise, like it just seems to get worse and worse and worse, and it's just it's stressful. Hey y'all, <laughs> another abrupt ending. I'm so sorry, and I was gonna wait until my AC went off, but baby. I don't have the time, and I also don't have the energy to like get up and physically turn the AC off. Like, if you know, you know. Like it's just, it's just, that, it's it's just that time. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing. Like I don't want to get up. My head hurts. Everything hurts. It has been. It is Wednesday officially. It's three thirty in the morning. It has been a week, like since Sunday. I, I want to say in like a week or two, you will see and hear the story time that I'm gonna film in the morning while I get ready for a breakfast date. <laughs> um, but I have story time for y'all and like I have missed Thursday's upload Sunday's upload and this past Tuesday yesterday and I just I'm done apologizing I, I don't feel guilty about not uploading because I have just gone through so much in the past three days and not only me but people around me have gone through a lot they're still going through a lot and I just Sometimes, girl, life be lifing, okay? And I, <laughs> as much as I want to make sure that I'm consistent on my channel, I'm still a human being and my support system are still human beings. And like, we're all going through shit right now. So like, I just, I needed to end the vlog here because it's already an hour and 30 minutes. I felt like you just, what? I wanted to say guys and deserve at the same time. Wait. I felt like you guys deserved a longer vlog because I haven't uploaded in so long. So that's why this vlog is so long. And then we'll just pick back up in Houston um, next vlog day. But y'all, it's just when I tell you, like when y'all hear the story time, you'll be like, all right. All right. Like for people that I know that I don't have a huge following, but people that like really enjoy my vlogs, thank you so much for tuning in every single time. I appreciate you guys. 
But listen, the shit that I'm about to spill, it's just been so much. Like, my friends already know. Like, my friends already know what the hell has been going on. And it's just... Oh, deep breaths. Oh, like, I can laugh about it now because I feel better. But in the moment, oh no, it was not funny. It was not a good time. And like, even tomorrow, I still won't feel like it's a good time. But I know that once I talk about it and like have story time and just be done with it, I'll be done. Like, I'm still kind of going through some of the things. And I know I'm not giving you much. I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I will catch you guys in my next vlog. Bye. I could never write my wrongs unless I write it down for real. Please.